Hi everyone, so we're on the second example, third lesson it is, Oops. there. Right then, so it says, a stone's large from a point 1.2 metres vertically above the point O, it's on a flat horizontal ground, so it's launched with a velocity of 2Q and Q. So it's 1.2 metres high, that's my positive direction. I've got a velocity vector there, and I know that my velocity vector is 2q across and q up. There. Uh, what else does it tell us in this question? Oh, it lands in four seconds. That's good. So I know my flight time is four seconds. That's good. Find a value of q. Right then, so I'm going to use the fly time, aren't I? So I'm going to vertically, I'm going to use the flight time. I know it hits the ground. So it's 1.2 metres below where it started from, so that's minus 1.2. U is Q. V not fussed about. A is, I remember acceleration is pointing down, but we're going up. A is 9.8, so that's going to be minus 9.8. And T, did we get told it was 4? Well, 4 seconds it is. So S equals UT plus a half AT squared. So minus 1.2 is Q lots of 4 plus a half minus 9.8 4 squared. So minus 1.2 is 4q, that's so dodgy saying that, minus 78.4. If I add on the 78.4, I'm down, I've got a 77.2, it's 4 lots of the letter q. Divide through by 4 gives me 19.3 as a value for q. <sighs> then hence find its initial speed. Right then, so... If it's two lots of Q across and one lot of Q going up, so it's 19.3 going up and it's what, 38.6 going across? So its speed will be 38.6 squared plus 19.3 squared, which to two sig fig, well, it's 43.2, so 43 meters per second to two sig fig. There you go, so I've got the initial speed, the new value for it. That's okay, that's not too bad. I'm on three minutes, got to see the tabs on the um, on the time or else it'll run out. So B says the horizontal range. Okay, fair enough, so I want the range. So S I don't know. U we've said is, is it, uh, 38.6. V don't care about, A is 0, time is 4. S equals UT plus a half AT squared. A is 0. So S is 38.6 times by 4 uh, is... So it's 154.4 metres. So S is 150 metres to 2 sig fig. Check my time, 4 minutes, I can keep going. Maybe I should stop it and do a separate one for, for part C, but part C looks really big. Right, so we're looking at max height relative to the point O, relative to the origin. So we've got to be careful with that, haven't we? So max height, we know that the vertical velocity is zero. So I'll write that down before I stop and do another video. So max height, vertical velocity, zero. There are 30 seconds left for that one. So I'll stop that now.